We'd like to bring uh, Mr. Mark Rebo up now, who will talk about his experiences starting from the closing of the tonic and on forward till, till now, and to kind of just tell you where it's at and you know clarify things, and here's Mark. Okay. Thank you. Um, well, I wasn't really prepared to speak tonight, but I'll try to say what I, I say it as I remember it. Um, a number of us decided when Tonic was closing that it would be good to use the closing of Tonic as a focal point for doing some organizing around getting, um, well, around getting a space, around getting policies and getting a space um, for musicians who are playing this kind of music where we can play and make money. It's, I, I add that second part because there seem to be plenty of spaces and they seem to be, you know, there's a number of spaces that are willing to book people. What was, but what seems to be disappearing or in very short supply are places that book people in New York and pay. <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, we got tons of places. We need money. And I, I like, um, I noticed in Ahmed's description of the sister space story that a, a key moment seems to have been the point at which you guys, and correct me if I'm wrong, the point at which you guys got funding which made the music program possible. And so what we wanted to, you know, the well, we conducted, an, as most of you know, we conducted a protest the day Tonic closed and had gotten a bunch of papers, uh, gotten a bunch of the newspapers, um, and we attempted to meet with politicians um, based, you know, based on this. Um, a number of you who I see here participated in those actions. Um, um, the what came out of it was several things. We met with politicians about the possibility of getting a space. And um, I, you know, I'm going to ask um, my memory for names not being the best. I might ask Barbara Birch, who's over there, who set up um, a Brecht Forum, um, and Noise Cabaret, who set up a number of those meetings to name the names, because they may be of interest to people here. The people we met with? Yeah, the people we met with. We had a press conference on the steps of City Hall that was um, enabled, we were assisted in that with by City Councilman Alan Gerson, and we met with the Manhattan Borough President's Office staff, and we had a lot of conversations with, um, shit, I'm sorry, Martin State Senator Martin something. Connor. Thank you. Martin Connor? Yeah. Right. Oh, some state senator who was very supportive, who we hadn't met with, but we met with his staff. And um, apparently my memory is almost... There were also community board three oh, meetings, right? right? About, because um, there's a couple of spaces in the neighborhood here, the, the former uh, markets, um, what are they called? Essex, yes. Essex Streets mar markets. Um, the process, to sum up what happened, the process of getting uh, a space proved difficult. Not in, I don't think impossible, but it seemed to me from these meetings that the city has very carefully insulated itself uh, from, it's, it's very carefully insulated the part of the city which takes over buildings for back taxes from the part which makes political decisions that could give that. Right, as I understood it now, you know, back in the day, 20 years ago or something, um, well, probably when this place was given to the community, uh, if the city had a, a public building that was no longer used for its function, or if it took over a uh, building for back taxes, um, then if you exerted enough political pressure, you could convince the city to give it to you. Now, apparently, properties that the city takes automatically for back taxes or that 
become disused for the original purpose automatically go to directly to an au auction to which only banks are invited was that so so even willing politicians who might want to uh, to who might understand that we have a worthwhile cause um, are not, it's much more difficult for them to help us out. All that doesn't mean that things are impossible. All that means is that for anything to happen, there would have to be a very broad and very willing coalition of people uh, to exert a lot of pressure about it. Um, and that, you know, Basically, a number of meetings were held, and um, in which we tried to involve different presenters and different musicians in participating in this. I I, th I think there that's where things stand now. It was there was difficulty reaching exact consensus over exactly what kind of coalition over exactly what kind of space and over exactly who, who would manage it, but I think it remains a, a worthy thing to keep fighting for and to keep doing. Um, and that's that. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. 